Foreign Minister Wang Yi spoke highly of China-ASEAN cooperation during that speech at the ASEAN Secretariat. He said China and ASEAN are each other's largest trading partner. Trade volume has increased 100 times from 30 years before, and two-way direct investment has exceeded 310 billion U.S. dollars. Wang Yi said China hopes to champion open regionalism with ASEAN and deepen their comprehensive strategic partnership. He said China will continue to support ASEAN centrality and promote solidarity in the region. He pointed out the importance of settling differences in the Asian way. Wang Yi also said China will continue to pursue its open strategy for development, promote regional economic integration and advance science and technology cooperation. He also highlighted the importance of deepening the bonds of friendship among peoples in the region. During the meeting, he also met ASEAN General Secretary Li Jokhoi. Lim said ASEAN appreciates China's efforts on COVID vaccines and supplies during the pandemic and is willing to deepen exchanges in areas such as supply chains and economic development. For more on that visit, let's cross live to our correspondent Ryan Mauter in Kuala Lumpur. So first of all, uh, Ryan, tell us a little bit more on the uh, major items on Foreign Minister Wang Yi's agenda. Yes, this is Wang Yi's first visit to Malaysia in two years, and I think without the disruptions of the pandemic, we certainly would have expected to see him here more frequently than that. He's said to have met with the king, paid a courtesy call on the prime minister of Malaysia, and in a short while will begin bilateral discussions with Malaysia's foreign minister, Saifuddin Abdullah. And then there's a signing ceremony of some kind. We've not been let into the details of what that's about, and we hope a press briefing. When it comes to the bilateral talks, the focus will be on trade and investment, on boosting collaboration in areas such as technology, the digital economy, higher education, and of course as well on key geopolitical issues, regional and international ones with the crises no doubt in Myanmar and also in Ukraine being high on the agenda we expect. Now, this has been somewhat of a whirlwind tour for Wang Yi throughout the ASEAN region, with ASEAN having become China's number one trading partner, eclipsing the EU during the pandemic. He was in Myanmar to meet with the countries that share the Mekong River, and then Thailand, the Philippines, and Indonesia for the G20 foreign ministers meeting. So I think this, this visit to Malaysia, along with those other visits, really emphasizes the importance of ASEAN to China and its its wish to re-emphasize that as we emerge from the pandemic.